We'll see what it does. It's... Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're in the car park, but we're gonna be testing autopilot in some serious situations, really. We've got two cardboard cutouts. We've got one of Jeremy Clarkson. He was just the cheapest six foot adult. So no offense, Jeremy, I am the big fan, uh, but we hopefully won't be running into him today. And then to act as a child, because I couldn't get any kid cardboard cutouts, uh, I got a penguin. So there's a penguin set up in front of us right now with a couple of cones to guide us into it, just so the car doesn't veer off at all. And we're gonna see how does autopilot pilot deal with it will it stop for the penguin will the car slow down or will it be abs or something that does uh, the slowing down in the end so we're gonna we're gonna go at it at the start at 15 miles an hour on a tighter road here you can see as the car comes up to it it did see it as a person for a split second then it saw it as a car and basically so what it did there is initially autopilot saw it as a person walk it saw it as a person initially but because it's not technically a person it is a penguin it's not 100 percent sure what to see and as you got close enough to it it thinks there's a cone there funny enough as we got close enough to it this then took over uh, the automatic braking system and just basically threw it on and said no no we've got to stop however as we got close enough to it again it then started Started up again let's give that one more go and see if again it picks it up as a as a person from far away or if it just continues driving straight on into it we're gonna try it with a little bit more speed on this approach and we'll see if it continues attacking it at 30 miles an hour look it shows it as a person now it slows down and then as we get to a stop it does stop completely for it but again it lurches as soon as we get to it so it saw it as a person it did enough braking for at least you to take control or at least the car to slow down to a, a point where if it did obviously touch now it'd be going zero miles an hour but i'm always intrigued to see even though we get really close here and you can see that these sensors are picking it up the car itself still will go through that and will accelerate through it which is really strange we're going to come at it from the other angle here this is definitely not a person but it is actually showing a person okay now it's not showing a person it's showing a cone look at that and it's come again to a complete stop and then accelerate accelerating fast again so it's clearly seen that as a cone because it can see the flames on the top of the uh, the coal bag and um, it's thinking the yellow that's probably a cone so again it did come to a complete stop but as it came to a complete stop it still accelerated onwards and tried to go through it which is really strange I'm never sure why it does that Jeremy's now in place and hopefully this should show a human the whole time and I don't think it should even accelerate through to him at the end so for the first test again we're gonna go at him at 15 miles an hour like we did with the penguin child and yeah there you go it can clearly see a human oh god jeremy's bent in half and it's it again oh very good look at that oh wait it's actually come to a complete stop because jeremy bent over is actually a motorcycle and then some lovely citizen is coming to help jeremy out here <laughs> and as you can see auto oh unavailable for the rest of the drive it's put on hold um yeah so there, there's that that was quite interesting so when it's not available for the rest of the drive all you need to do is put the car in park and then it will be ready to go again so let's give that another attempt that was actually pretty impressive we're gonna do this one at 15 miles an hour as well because that first one with him falling over wasn't completely a fair test so again it's slowing us down here it's following us in following the cones and guiding us nicely in and because it sees a human you can see it comes to a complete stop that is absolutely perfect. So whereas it saw the penguin, because it's not a human, it's not gonna accelerate. So what happens if I slowly accelerate into him? Does it do anything? And if I come off, oh, look at that. It breaks really nice and hard. Here we go, a true test then. 30 mile an hour test. Let's do it. Hopefully it'll follow the cones down, following the cones nicely, coming close to him. There he is red, as you can see, and the car comes again to a complete stop. Interesting, he's actually disappeared. But the car is still not accelerating past him. I'm going to accelerate a little bit. No, there he goes. He appears again. That's really good. This time we're not going to be on autopilot, but I am going to put traffic aware cruise control. So traffic aware cruise control will basically do all the braking and accelerating, none of the steering. And what we found from the cone test is that it won't actually actively stop for cones. Now, some people said this is a good thing because on tack, you should be obviously in full full control because you're still doing the steering. However, when there's a human involved, I still think it should slow us down. So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Uh, we're going to accelerate up and just put it onto 30 and see what it does here. So I'm going to be driving it myself this time. Yeah, it is bringing itself down on traffic aware cruise control, even though I'm in full control and it's bringing us to a complete stop. So if I steer to go around him, 
No, so as you steer, the car isn't noticing that you want to go, oh, Jeremy's, Jeremy's going. Is it going to accelerate now? No, so there you go. So it's actually put us on hold because it's like, oh, there definitely was someone there, but now he's like crumbled to pieces. This time, Jeremy's like on the left of the lane. He's definitely in our lane here. So we're going to see if the car goes around him and tries to um, navigate basically through him. We'll see what it does. It's, oh my God, I tell you what. That was so, so close. We've got Jeremy now bending down on his knees, so he's the shorter height of an adult uh, or maybe a tall child. I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully the car will see it. And he's not right in the middle of the road. He is on the left, so either it's going to slow down and try and maneuver around him or it's going to stop successfully again. Uh, this time we're going to be going up at 15 miles an hour rather than 30 because 30 was a little bit fast for it, I think, to go around him. Uh, there we go. We've got autopilot back on. And Holly's still there, but I'm hoping. Yeah, so there, it actually, oh, wow, look at that. That's really interesting. It actually showed a bin in front of Jeremy there for a split second. Uh, so it obviously thought that the bag in front of him was a bin, um, not like, I thought initially it just had a blank and it was just showing a torso, uh, but it has stopped for him and it has completed the task. Let's try the exact same thing, but this time it's gonna be on autopilot at 30 miles an hour rather than just at 15 or at least as fast as it will get to him. Is it gonna stop again? Yeah, again, pulling down nicely, showing a bin again in front of him, which is absolutely brilliant, but it's doing the job perfectly and it is stopping. So the final thing for us to test is this with absolutely no aids at all. So that means not on autopilot, I think Jeremy's giving up there, not on autopilot, not on traffic aware cruise control. We're just gonna accelerate by myself with my foot on the accelerator and see if the car will decide to take over and stop completely. I'm not 100% sure if it will do this, but I'm intrigued to find out. Here we go, accelerating up to him. Accelerating up to him as we get a train coming as well. That's brilliant. Is it gonna show him? No, didn't show him at all. So when you have no assist on, and that's autopilot or traffic aware cruise control, you can clearly see the car actually didn't even show Jeremy that time, and it wasn't gonna stop for him. And there we have it. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Give it a rating out of 10. I think it did pretty well. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I was a little bit surprised that on this final one, it didn't show a person on the screen and it didn't give me a warning for him. But then again, I was in full control. And whenever the car was in control, whether that was autopilot or traffic aware cruise control, it stopped every single time and would have saved any lives that were potentially in danger. Even Jeremy's. Even though Jeremy made a bad review, it would still save his life. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell and if you want to help out consider becoming a patron it really helps me out and it means i can go buy some more cardboard cutouts and hopefully get the 60 pound elon musk one which would be quite cool for a video until next time don't forget drive safe